Hello, this is KD0RVY, and uh, we are here today with our uh, second video for our ladder line uh, J-Pole uh, 2 meter antenna. And I know in the first video I didn't say that there was going to be a second, so it's kind of a surprise for all of us. But um, I uh, <clears throat> had a few problems with the first one that I wanted to fix, um, and I'll go through those uh, right now here. <clears throat> Now, the first one, this one here, uh, you know, I'm not a big, I'm, I'm all about aesthetics. Uh, if things don't look just right for me, um, I tend to have issues, and, and this is one of them. Um, you know, overall, it seems like, I, I kind of get this, but it seems like um, to just attach a connector onto an antenna this seems like a bit much um, now I was told at the uh, the candy store as we call it that uh, this is to help alleviate uh, stress and it's actually made for ladder line cables and I think it's MFJ that makes this um, now <clears throat> I, I, I can understand that but on the flip side uh, to me, if you were to hang this cable, let's see if I can kind of get some control over this here. If you were to hang this cable, you know, from a tree or something uh, like this, and had your uh, your connector and your cable come off of that end like that, it seems like then you're you're going to put strain on this, and maybe that's the thing. Maybe uh, you know it's it's able to handle that but there's still stress there to do that um, so to me <clears throat> this doesn't make complete sense plus with as bulky as it is uh, and with it being in my backpack like this I mean there there's a few ends here that kind of catch on to things um, the overall size of it I'm not really a big fan of so uh, I don't know it, I don't think I would ever use one of these again um, the other problem that I had that I've noticed is with uh, this being a J-pole there's going to be a gap somewhere and this is our gap here and the one thing that this antenna likes to do when it's hanging is it likes to, to twist. Now functionality, um, you know, that might be fine. I don't know that it's going to cause that big of a problem. Um, it is kind of annoying uh, when it does that and aesthetically it just kind of looks I don't know I'm not really a big fan of that um, <clears throat> and then uh, you know those were my, my two big gripes about this one so I decided that since I had the perfect amount of cable left to make a second antenna I figured why not and how many of us that are even just getting started into this uh, hobby have only one antenna? I mean, most of our big guys out there probably have 10, 15, 20 antennas. Um, so I came up with this. I am calling this my 2 meter ladder line J pole stealth antenna. Um, because A, everything stealth is cool, right? So, that's reason number one. Reason number two, it's all black. So that's also cool um, and stealthy. But here's a couple things. One, notice I got just my SL239 connector on the end of this. Um, I don't have a big bulky uh, printed circuit board even though there's no circuits on that, but that's pretty much what that material is. is it's a, a PCB board. So I don't have a big PCB board on the end of this. <clears throat> um, it's just the connector. Uh, two, the nice thing is that because of how it's installed, when my cable, and this is just a prop here, but when my cable gets screwed onto this, it's hanging downward with the plug. So, are you ever going to alleviate all strain on a plug? Probably not, but this is more natural 
for the cable to hang versus at a 90 degree and the cable you know pulling downward on that so um, this seems like a more a more natural fit uh, for that so that's the one the one thing I changed uh, and you can see I've got my my center conductor going there and my ground going there and I've coated both of those completely in of course liquid electrical tape um, I've gone over and over again with this stuff how awesome this stuff is if you don't have any get some this stuff is super cool um, and it, it, it's just oh it's got so many uses so uh, you know get this for the workbench um, the other thing I did too was I added this uh, zip tie here I popped a few holes uh, into the plastic on the ladder line and, and pop that zip tie in there this is going to help with keeping uh, the, the the coax not just in line with with everything here but it's also going to keep uh, from moving side to side and possibly breaking this connection um, and just kind of adding some extra rigidity uh, to that uh, then we have our uh, ground cable and our uh, center conductor here and again everything coated in uh, liquid electrical tape uh, just so uh, we have the bare uh, the the metal on metal contacts where we want it, and can also cover it so we don't get metal on metal contacts when and where we don't want it. So we move down the line a little bit more, and now at a distance you really don't notice this, but you probably can notice it already on the camera. Um, this is where our uh, our notches and what I did is I took some of this plastic material here uh, which is this you know stuff here and when I made my notch I uh, carefully added this into there and now what I did is I made my notch and then I also stripped back uh, some of the plastic material on this so that way I could add one just like this. This might actually be the opposite side of the piece I used. Um, where that way I've got bare metal exposed so that I can insert it re or reinsert it back into these spots. That way I still have my my space that I need, but I've got some material actually holding everything in place. Then once I had that in place, um, I took my liquid electrical tape and covered it I, I would say probably about three or four layers and I know that that sounds like a lot um, but because of this stuff and when it dries it, it, it condenses and shrinks um, so when you feel it I mean even when I'm feeling it now I mean it seriously it, it feels like there's only maybe two layers on there um, so it's not like it feels like it's really caked on however it does feel like it's been put on thoroughly um, and and uh, you know it feels very uh, very rigid you know and that nothing's gonna happen uh, with that except through you know some major wear and tear maybe then lastly what I did was uh, at the end here I, I put another hole so that way I could have a loop. Now I use a zip tie, you could use fishing line, you could probably use uh, some kind of wire or, or something. Um, I guess the wire I would stay away from just because it's metal. Um, we again want to avoid any metal metal contact when we don't need it or where we don't need it. Um, so the zip tie thing seems to work out pretty good. And that way, uh, you know, you can either just loop this on a low, you know, hanging branch, or you can tie fishing line to this, and uh, the other end of the line have like a one ounce lead weight, throw it over a branch or something, um, just something to, to, to hang from. So, uh, you know, overall, uh, this antenna, um, in comparison to uh, the other one, is far more uh, streamlined. Uh, it's not nearly as bulky. Um, some of the, the extra changes I made I think are well worth uh, building the second version. Uh, and I just kind of figured, uh, you know, that because I 
uh, made the second version with these improvements and these modifications, um, you know, that I, I should share them with you uh, in case, you know, you guys are looking to do the same thing uh, if and when uh, you decide to build a two meter J pole. Now you can build a uh, two meter J pole ladder line stealth version antenna. Uh, so, anyways, um, that's all I got for this one. So, uh, thanks again to uh, all the viewers and the subscribers uh, who have subscribed to this channel. Uh, you know, please uh, feel free to uh, go ahead and uh, rate all the videos. Um, you know, let me know that you like them. Um, I've also recently hit the 2,000 view mark, so I know some of the people out there, yeah, it's not a million hits, but, you know, even for me, uh, 2,000 is, is a lot more than I ever thought I was going to get. So, um, you know, I, I greatly appreciate uh, all the views and every single view and every single subscription I get. So uh, it's kind of what, uh, what keeps me doing this for everybody. So uh, thanks again to all of you out there, and uh, I will be having more videos come your way here shortly. So... Uh, thanks again, and this is KD0RVY.